The Seniors Discovery Project began in spring of 2021 with the visions of seniors inviting other seniors to come discover something new. The D is for diversity, the I for inclusion, and the SC for social connection. There were IT volunteers available for Zoom support and for helping the groups create digital performances. Some of the senior leaders wanted to focus on gifts they had already discovered. Others wanted to investigate something new. The seniors leaders met half a dozen times for training on leading a participatory group and then began their individual groups with the instruction to invite some friends who are each to invite another friend who is not involved in Mosaic activities. The activities were also advertised on the Mosaic website. In total, 16 groups met throughout 2021 and into 2022. Of the more than 150 participants, more than one-third were not previously involved in the Mosaic Seniors community. After months of gathering, the groups each created a five to seven minute performance demonstrating the focus of their groups. In a few minutes, you will meet some of the leaders, following which is a video of the performances. The leaders were asked how many times their groups met, what was the biggest challenge, and what was the best part of this experience. Some of their answers follow. Please enjoy meeting this incredible group of seniors and watching them in action. They enrich my life. Uh, yeah, my daily life is very common, but uh, we need, everybody needs many companions. Uh, they are my companions. If, if we can do it, then I think uh, that we can, <coughs> we can serve more people. Because recently I learned a lot of people, they, uh, especially for the seniors, they worry about uh, they will get infected. So they don't want to go to the, the class. So recently we have less members than previous. <laughs> okay. We met um, first every other week and then even every week. So I have to count how many we met quite a few times. The jewelry making class. They have a uh, same once a week, uh, December day. They meet at Moody Park, you know, outside. Then uh, change to Mosaic, uh, same once a week. So I always support uh, Maria. Every week. So the good thing, even though we finished the project, from today, we started to get the meeting again because every member want to continue that workshop. So we will do uh, that until the end of June. The group meet like, yes, uh, once a week, one and a half hours. And uh, like uh, day before that, this Monday, one, one friend mentioned one and a half hours is too short. Can it be two hours? I said, no, it's too long already. <laughs> Usually the dancing time is only one hour. Now it's one and a half. So yeah, they like it. They love it. So me too. Every week, except we missed two sessions because of my family matters. Um, we met every, every week for one hour. Wow. Once a week, I was running two groups. Um, the Singing group was definitely meeting once every week, but for the Gita reading, some people moved out, so the meetings had to be spaced out sometimes. But by and large, the schedule was to meet once every week. That's incredible. Most of my participants uh, enjoy outside, so uh, in summer, everybody is so happy. Yeah, but. In winter, they don't want to go stay inside. So it's a big challenge for me, yeah. Yeah, uh, we, we, we make friends. So uh, everybody, uh, we have a private meeting to uh, get a palak or something else yeah That's wonderful. so we we are keep going yeah and i think the okay. challenge is uh, uh all activity is better to have uh in person 
Yeah, it's, it's a bit quite hard to unzoom because we cannot see the whole body movement. Uh, but unfortunately, in the current situation, the people are afraid to come. So that's my current uh, uh, challenge. I think the best part uh, could be the, because then we can make friends. Because when you see each other, we can learn something uh, from each other and uh, talking. Because we need to talk with the other people. And then we can exercise. Because for the senior people, we need to, yeah. how to say, we need to exercise all muscle more often, more often than the young people. Otherwise, we are fed quite soon. So, okay, that's my input. Uh, uh, when we started that course project, uh, we have in difficulty um, because every member has a um, different English uh, ability, English skills. So the biggest challenge uh, will be uh, that it does impossible on the Zoom. Yeah, you know? when we gathered and we did the, these classes, it, looking after each other and taking care of each other, especially isolated people, that's great. And the challenge we had was uh, the first people who, uh, who participated uh, were more comfortable with WhatsApp. So WhatsApp has the limit of 10 people. So after that, more people wanted to join, but unfortunately, I couldn't uh, uh, get their content to change to Zoom. So we had to stay with 10 people in, a, in the group. That was the one restriction for us. We were doing all our classes on Zoom. So initial challenge was to make everybody comfortable. And then we were singing and studying and being comfortable with, with people whom we had never met or seen before. That was challenging. We did overcome it to become comfortable. And then the highlight was when we actually got to see each other at the final recording. Because the people we saw over there were so different than the screenshot image we all had in our mind. <laughs> so that part was really exciting when they actually got uh, to meet each other. The best part is uh, the A, mem A, A members, uh, I can say A students, that we can get very along with each other. And uh, I get along with them through the WeChat. Every time after, after class, I will ask them uh, if they understand in the, the class. Yeah, so we, I got a very good feedback for this.很高兴参加书法漫谈我们学员书法首先呢必须要弄清楚什么是书法书法首先是要写字的但会写字呢不等于会书法书法是通过写字书法作者的事对物对人的感悟而感悟的核心呢是写心写情写思想我学员书法有感五个要这就是我在书法创作中的感悟我把这五个要看作是创作书法的信条
责任和生命线，绝不偏离。如果偏离了这五个要，作品就缺少时代感和接地气，缺失真善美和精气神。就失去了思想性和生命力，这样的作品呢，无艺术品味可谈。这是我个人的看法，不一定对，仅供讨论。谢谢。Hello， 你好啊，我 Amy 啊，我姓吴嘅，诶、呃，我系七十年代就开始中意咗书法，咁过程系几十年，就唔使即系喺呢度唔多讲啦。今日呢，就有幸見到大家，希望就誒睇、呃、下示範下呢、这個誒、呃、字呢、这個字係我寫嘅，曾經係參加過温哥華嘅誒書法展嘅參展嘅作品。咁誒、呃，我依家就寫俾大家睇下啦不写成咁嘅样 ，OK， 咁样。深入分析觉悟，深入研究参悟，认真思考醒悟，领领会虚悟。我觉得悟字对大家是一个很好的学习和领会的一个词汇。那么包含醒悟、觉悟、呃参悟，那么包含着这个认真分析、仔细研究。回顾和思考的这个意义在里边。回顾过去呢，我们可以发现自己有哪些做的不对；那么审视现在呢，我们可以发现自己应该怎么做更好。根据过去和现在的分析和回顾，我们可以更好的展望将来，迎接新的挑战。谢谢。集思广益，活到老学到老。集思广益就是。我们在生命的过程中坚持学习，我们就会大脑清醒。尤其是我们长者，啊，能够有机会学习中国文化的瑰宝书法，这对我们来讲是一个很幸福的事。书法可以写心，可以写意，也可以写情，也可以让我们在困惑中写出好心情。这样子，我们。尤其是在疫情的时候，我们有位朋友讲啊，居家抗疫两年多，人未老；踏遍青山，人还是未老。风景这边多好。我选择“大同”两个字，因为从本世纪初开始，我们经历了百年未有的巨变。包括这一场瘟疫、新冠病毒肆虐全球。我之所以选择大同，是因为它是和中华文化一脉相存。世界大同，天下为公。我们现在要构建世界的人类命运共同体，这是一脉相承的。尽管我们还有许多艰难曲折。但是，世界是全世界人民的，终究我们会要实现世界大同，天下为公，构建人类命运共同体，一定会成功的。谢谢。学言书法，常练常新，陶艺情操，无欲则刚，强身健体，适老顽童，丰富人生，其乐无穷。嗯
，开心就好啊，开心。
在，我都不要弄，太难了。Taiji is calm. Taiji is powerful. Taiji is balanced. Taiji is relaxing. Next, doing our shoulder. And next, we will do our knee. Left leg first. The left side. And then change to left side. Left side. Then we do the right leg. Have your left. And then we'll do the head rotate. And then draw a ball. Left to side. Open your chest and uh, turn your head to back, left side. And right side. Touch your back. Punch your fist and with angry eye. Next part is the Tai Chi. Tai Chi is calm. Tai Chi is powerful. Tai Chi is very. Tai Chi is relaxing. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
we have to put up with the weather, whether we like it or not. Blue, blue bird blinks. If you want bye, bye. If you don't want bye, bye bye. Yellow bottle of pepper jelly, red jam, black bread, spread is sick, say it quick. Yellow bottle of pepper jelly, red jam, black bread. Don't talk with your mouth full. Here's my ribbon, so check my bit. We got, got it your ribbon. Ribbon. Now here's your bit. Here's my vision, so check my feet. We got your, we got your vision, now check your feet. Because purple is my favorite color, it makes me uh, feel elegant and the things very soft and uh, peaceful. So uh, actually, it's my favorite one. Oh, so nice! Oh, for me, uh, I choose pink purple. And it's more like uh, sky stars. It's silver. The silver like in the sky stars. Mm, I, 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 I see this like some hope for me. <laughs> Pink. You, you know, let me feel I'm still young. 
我叫金蕊 Okay, my name's Jean. Um, I I make an earring. It's beautiful and uh, sparkling. It's a uh, that means uh, the pure. You know, everything's pure, and woman likes the pure things. So yeah, I like it. It's okay. Okay, thank you. <laughs> thank you. A group called uh, Grandma's Kitchen, and we have had it for a few months. I can't remember exactly when it started, but as the group decided. So we are 10 members, and we have had a session each week. It is a bilingual group. Uh, we start with Farsi, and we talk about our local traditional food, and then we have uh, an English. Uh, practice class uh, for half an hour uh, so in this class we've learned about all the cutlery we are using all the different kinds of fruit uh, groceries um, how to go to the restaurant and order and everything related to the uh, food and etiquettes uh, how we sit and how we eat in different countries and uh, Everybody gives uh, one uh, uh, recipe uh, and uh, then we give the same recipe in Farsi and English, so we practice it. Uh, and this is the, what we've made for today. Unfortunately, some of the friends are absent. They were there on a trip and uh, they couldn't attend some of them. I brought this dish. This is very traditional. This is kind of snack or breakfast thingy. It is greens and walnuts and uh, feta cheese. It is the continental breakfast of Iran. And we have, I, I brought some dates from my city, Kerman. Uh, it is the, actually the dessert we eat after the food. And I made this zire polo, zire cumin is from my, my city. So it is another traditional food uh, dish. So 
That's it from me and my friend Parvin will continue. Thank you. Should I have you? How many people did it? This food name is named uh, Cipolo, and I made it uh, special food in my city, Kermansha. And I made it by potato, rice, dill, raisin, oil, onion, and zafara. And I wish you will eat and you like it. <laughs> Something okay. about the class? Uh, this, um, I, I, I learned this class uh, is, uh, so, so something because the, I learned English and I learned uh, some food about the uh, city in my country and I find a uh, 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 seven and eight friends, new friends, and so nice friends, and I'm happy. Uh, I work with uh, Sherwin because she's so good teacher, yes. and I wish I good a student for her. <laughs> <laughs> you are, <yeah. laughs> This food from. Um, this food I cooked me because this was uh, from a uh, city in Iran and uh, uh, from my city Kerman. Um, uh, I liked this food. My family uh, all um, this food very like. Sharvin, um, uh, Miss Sharvin is very. Good teacher, very, very good. <laughs> uh, I, um, I write uh, recipe is uh, food for. Yes, yes. Thank you. And this food. Uh, I, uh, I make, uh, name is uh, kufte, it's traditional ir food Iranian, uh, is uh, a recipe, uh, meat and rice and oil and spicy and vegetable, tomato and spray tomato. My daughter very very like this food. This food is used in the party family. Our family uh, about uh, class grammar class uh, kitchen. A very, very good class. Uh, this Sherwin is a very, very good teacher. Uh, it's a, a very thing and learn with, uh, about uh, vegetable uh, and uh, fruit and uh, going to restaurant, to coffee shop, to uh, and order there. <laughs> uh, very good. Thank you, as uh, thank you for uh, sharing. Thank you for mosaic. Uh, all good, very good. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> we are really grateful that uh, we had the chance to have a group. We made a lot of friends. It is really amazing. I never thought that it would be this good, but it is really good. And I just wanted to. Talk about this uh, tablecloth. It is from Esfahan. It is a traditional tablecloth of Iran. Uh, and uh, I hope you like the food and enjoy it. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Come down.
get up earlier. Ha 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 By laughing, it's amazing exercise. So I hope you incorporate it into your daily lives. It's amazing exercise, yeah. and you know, really give you peace of mind and a uh, lot of the health benefits. So it's only 15 muscles to smile and 35 to frown. So we really need to smile more and let go and let our worries go. So thank you so much, and I'm so grateful to be able to do this. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, my name is Vinita and this is my group of women that are fond of music. We are all immature singers who have got together. Most of us are in our 70s 
and two of our ace singers are celebrating their 80th this year. I'm emphasizing this just to make a point that music helps to keep us going and feeling young. One of our members claims that music is food for her soul. We are thankful to Mosaic for providing us the platform and opportunity. Under the gracious guidance of Kuti, our teacher, who is a graduate in Indian classical music, we have polished our singing by understanding the nuances of classical music. We learn from her that the seven basic notes of music with their permutations can create sounds befitting different times of the day, different seasons, as well as different moods. Each permutation constitutes a different rag, defined by a specific combination of the basic notes. Today, we are going to sing a song based on rag Bhairav. The rag is sung in early morning hours to welcome a new day of sunshine and hope. We are ready to do. जागोरे मन कलिया जागी नगर नगर सब गलिया जागी जागोरे 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 जग जग जागो मोहन प्यारे जागो नव युग चूमे नैन तिहारे जागो जागो मोहन प्यारे जिसने मन का दीप जलाया दुनिया को उसने ही उजला पाया मत रहना कि यूं के सहारे जागो मोहन प्यारे जागो नवयुग चूमे नैन तिहारे जागो जागो मोहन प्यारे किरण परी गगरी छलकाए ज्योत का प्यासा प्यास बुझाए फूल बने मन के अंगारे जागो मोहन प्यारे जागो नव युग चूमे नैन तिहारे जागो जागो मोहन प्यारे बीघी बीघी अखियों से मुस्काए ये नहीं भोर तो है जागो मोहन प्यारे जागो नवयुग चूमे नैन तिहारे जागो जागो मोहन प्यारे जाकुरे जाकुरे नव कलियां जागी नगर नगर सब कलियां जागी जागुरे 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 जागोरे जागोरे जाग जाग आ आ आ जागो ओ ओ
is the language of mankind and during this pandemic this uh, this music class brought us all together and we've enjoyed it thor thoroughly and uh, i'm so glad to be here thank you to me the classical compositions are like omega 3 antioxidants and a pinch of coffee <laughs> i really enjoyed a classical music with the help of vinny and our guru um, Bodhiji. thank you i think the purpose of life should be music singing i find it so soothing to mind body and soul it's amazing I'm so glad to have joined this group. It's brought a group of friends together, and I'm so happy that Mosaic had put on this big event so that we can all enjoy music and be really um, happy and vibrant in life. Thank you. Okay. And this is my second group of Sanskrit chanting. We are reading old scriptures written in Sanskrit words. Each verse is called a shloka and has a rhythmic flow of sound. Chanting these verses aloud are known to regulate breathing and blood flow. It was an old practice to memorize an entire book by chanting it repeatedly. That's the reason why they were all written in verse rather than in prose. We are currently reading the Bhagavad Gita a popular scripture famous for its philosophical teachings that are still relevant in the current times. The verses in this book talk about our duties in this world. It explains how to control a wandering mind and also how to overcome the fear of death. In short, there is wisdom for every aspect of life. The book I have picked up has an explanation of each shloka in English, clubbed with stories and examples for an easy understanding and interest. If this program continues, I intend picking up other books written in Sanskrit. We are fortunate that some institutions have made the effort to translate the Sanskrit treasure of knowledge in English. We therefore get the benefits of chanting, along with the wisdom recorded by a generation of scholars. So we are going to start with the, the Guru Sotam. And this chant or mantra is for spiritual growth. Derived from Sanskrit, Gu means darkness, Ru means remover, Man means to think, and Tra means liberate. The Guru, therefore, is a remover of darkness, and the mantra is a means to liberation. Guru Brahma Guru Vishnu Guru Devo Maheshwara verses from the Bhagavad Gita and the first verse um, is for the soul and basically what it means is that weapons cannot shred the soul nor can fire burn it nor can water wet it nor can the wind dry it Nainam chiddanti shastrani Nainam nahati pavakaha Nachainam kledayantyapo Nashoshayati marutaha The second verse which basically says that one who is able to withdraw the senses from their objects 
just as a tortoise withdraws its limbs into its shell, is established in divine wisdom. Sambharte chayam Kurmodani vasarvashaha Indriya lindriya tevya Sasya pratya pratishtita So going back to the last verse for us, the meaning of this verse is that whatever you see as beautiful, glorious or powerful, know it to spring from but a spark of my splendor. How was it? I'm selling apples. Excuse me. Oh, who's there in the little house? I'm here by the window already. Oh, you are over there. Come down and you see what I have in my basket. I can, the good lady. The little drafts don't let me open the door to everybody. Come down, they will not know. Besides, I give you an apple. I can't. Come on, little girl. Don't you trust an old lady? I am come down right away. When Snow White was with the old lady, the old lady said, Look at this beautiful apple. Little girl, wouldn't you like to taste it? Yes, old lady, but. Come on, take it. I will give it to you. Look how nice it is. Thank you, other lady. Snow White don't recognize that the old lady was in fact her stepmother, and she bit the apple. Suddenly, she fell to the floor dead. <laughs> Snow White is dead. I am the most beautiful in the kingdom. <laughs> that afternoon, when the seven dwarfs came home from work, they found Snow White lying on the floor. Snow White, she's not breathing. She's dead. Oh, the little princess, poor little. Go. The seven drafts were very sad. They tried a different thing to bring her to life, but nothing worked. Crying, they put her carefully inside a transparent coffin and took her to the top of the mountain. All the animals of the forest knew that the little princess was dead. Then someone came. Dear Thomas, what is happening here? Why are you so sad? Oh, Prince, in sweet girl died in our house. We love her very much. Oh, the little princess, Snow White. Oh, she is so beautiful. She seems like she is having sweet dream. Can I take her with me? She will be in my palace, and I will mock her in, in forever. Oh, Prince, we also want to mock her forever. You can come, all come with me. We will always be by her side. The Prince kissed the Snow White with his true love. Then, Snow White, 
whose magic was lifted, stretch out and walk up. Oh, has happened? Nothing. Little princess Snow White, you were having a bad dream. Now tell me, do you want to come to my palace and marry me? Then the seven dwarfs started singing and dancing around the young couple. The wedding celebration was marvelous, and the stepmother, who was invited to church, as soon as she recognized Snow White escaped running into the forest, where she died. Forgotten by everybody. Meanwhile, at the wedding. Look, Princess Snow White is here with her wedding gown. She looks so happy. happy. <laughs> and they lived happily ever after. Oh.
and feel it doesn't really tell us where we have been or where we want to go. We've been looking at the map as though it holds the answer about which direction is the best. Too much realize on what has been written down by others, and not enough realize on what we know differently in here. <laughs> we may be lost, but uh, looking around, it's amazing. Oh. It's breathtaking. Yeah. 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 Coming up here reminds me to notice. What an incredible world we live in! <coughs> mm. When we stop long enough to look and to listen. <coughs> Enough questions about those in power were doing with their uh, 
so true. There is so much power in convincing someone that their voice cannot be heard. Right. All that to what they have to say has no value. Right. It's hard. It's hard getting old and being treated as though we are invisible. And though we have learned nothing. Right. Or we have nothing to offer. It's mm -hmm. though all the best they have already passed. Uh.
think we should go back now. I thought we were lost. No, I think we simply lost our way. But actually, we were never completely lost. And do you think we are too better going to a world? Do you think the world is ready to hear what we are coming to know? Something has changed within me.
other than what? These seniors have something to say about creating a better world. Yes, about uh, diversity and uh, inclusion, about uh, reconciliation and the repudiation. All the working together to find equitable solutions. And coming to remember how much we need each other. And this beautiful world. Hey, come on, let's go and find others to uh, tell them about the day we were lost on the mountain. Yeah. Okay. Hey. Hey. present a challenge for many seniors to get connected during the pandemic. It also presents an opportunity for seniors to explore new ways of connection. At Senior Club, I saw seniors thrive and flourish. The Senior Discovery Network demonstrated a new platform was developed where seniors from diverse ethnic communities could connect with interest and passion. One of the seniors share her wisdom. Stay optimistic, find ways to keep life interesting and fun, stay in touch with other people, and keep ourselves and others safe. That truly resonated with the goal of this program. The seniors show resilience in midst of social isolation and not dance. The sheer drive to connect propelled them to venture into a new horizon built on technology and augmented reality. They pioneered uncharted field, utilizing their skills and talents. Don't underestimate the resourcefulness of seniors who have displayed this through artistic expression. They are a respected digital tribe in this post-COVID world. <laughs> 